will soon see the transformation. Those huge propellers slash rotors are 11.6 meters or 38 feet in diameter each. And they're driven by a pair of Rolls-Royce Allison A1107 City Turbo Shaft engines. transition into helicopter mode with those rotors in those huge nacelles tilting. It's a joint venture between Bell and Boeing. Boeing builds the fuselage and all the subsystems, the digital avionics and the fly-by-wire control system. Bell produces the wing, the transmissions, the empennage, the rotor systems and does the engine installation. It first came into service in MV-22B form with the US Marine Corps and the first combat deployment of Marine Corps Ospreys took place to Iraq in 2007 to a hostile zone in Helmand province and Mark you've got experience of the advantages in Afghanistan that the Osprey can The kit itself is uh, a relatively fast support helicopter but uh, about three months into the tour the Osprey arrived and what would normally have been a two to three hour transit uh, turned into something that was about an hour to an hour and a half. So it made a significant difference. There's also a good force protection lesson there as well because you spend less time exposed to small arms fire uh, and in harm's way. And also this aircraft very, very capable, even hot and high, of climbing above 3,000 feet. This is the C-22 model called Long Range also gives the option of flying above ground levels. So that was the final pass by the Bell Boeing CB-22B Osprey of the 7th Special Operations Squadron of the US Air Force at Mildenhall.